Hey guys, doing a video on Viper Spectra 165 watt light settings. I'm going to go through the settings that I have um, and the schedule that I run on it. Uh, if you've watched my other videos, you know I am very preferential to AI lighting. Um, I run my own Salty Pops program. When I set up this 110, um, I just happen to have these two lights come my way. So instead of spending a ton of money on buying new lights for it, I put on lights that uh, didn't cost me anything. So whether I'm going to stay with these long term or not is yet to be decided. I'm going to do kind of like what I did with the AI Prime light. I am going to run it for three months and show some updates on coral growth. Then again, it's six months, providing the lights make it that long. And then again, at a year, providing I'm seeing progress. So that way we can kind of, I can kind of document out the journey that it is, uh, what growth I'm getting, um, what the effect on color, coloration is, and different things like that. So again, I'm gonna kind of go through the schedule I set up. And if you know anything about the Salty Pop schedule on the AI Prime, it does a morning blue, it does a daylight white, and an evening blue. And I have um, the LED ENET supplementing it. I'm doing the same thing with these. LED ENET is supplementing it. I have a morning blue, a daylight, and an evening blue. So I'm going to show you how all that uh, lines out. And then I also want to point out, of course, the Viper Spectre does not have ramp time. So the lights on it, full power or off. Uh, those, those are the two options. There's no ramp up. Um, so what you're kind of going to see in this video is... Um, what schedule I, I did, what kind of the time, the intensities of each channel. There's two channels on the Viper Spectre. There's a blue channel and a white channel. You're going to see what I set each channel at. Um, hanging height, um, acclimation, acclimation recommendations for your coral to make sure you don't kill anything when you put them under a new light. And then I'm going to have some coral picks under the blue portion and the white portion that I run this. You can kind of see what the corals look like under both lighting conditions. Um, and then I'm going to show you the full schedule there. All right, so we're going to get into it here. Um, just kind of, uh, again, a reminder that I'm trying to mimic the sun with my rotation, uh, kind of giving that morning period for the corals to wake up, kind of that dark to day period where it's dim. Um, that's kind of the blue lighting. And then my midday high. And then, of course, my evening in order for it to uh, go down to dark. And I'll also add that the uh, LED E-Net is the first thing to come on in this rotation. Um, that is what I use to wake up my corals uh, first thing in the morning. So just a rec reference here. This is what I'm trying to create, that ramp up. The, right there, that ramp up, that midday high, which I consider um, daylight, is that entire section there. And then, of course, we're trying to uh, create that evening cool down uh, to bed, which is that section there. So here's how we're doing that. I have my LED E-net coming, coming on at 10 a.m., goes off at 10 p.m., the Viper Spectre Blue comes on at 10.15, goes off at 9.45, and the White comes on at 12 and goes off at 8. That gives me this nice curve here where you get the morning blue, the evening blue, and the daylight. All right, so here's the recommendations from the manufacturer on hanging height, as well as how they recommend you acclimate your coral to the light. This is what I actually did. So three to five days, I did 10-10. The next eight days, 20-20. The next seven days, 30-20. The next seven days, 40-30. And then a final ending of blue 50, white 30. 
All right, so now the fun part. Let's see what corals look like under the blue portion and under the white portion. So here we go with a red monopora. And of course, this is the blue portion, um, closer up picture under the blue portion. And then here we go under the white portion. So that would be that 12 p.m. to 8 p.m. white time of the day. Next up, we have this uh, green Stellata Monopora. And of course, under the blue portion, got a couple picks here under the blue portion of this one. And now we have under the white portion. And you can see it's drastically different under the blue and white. Of course, you're going to see that for, for all the corals. And then we've got this gold nugget hammer coral. A couple heads there under the blue portion. Um, obviously shines much better under the blue, blue than it does the daylight. And uh, of course here we are under the daylight portion. Up next is this blue teal candy cane or trumpet. Whichever uh, you tend to call it. And here it is under the daylight. And then we have this Hollywood Stunner Chalice. And here it is under the blue. And another pick under the blue. It got a lot, a lot of this coral. And then a pick under the white. So then we have our neon green candy cane. Um, these are... Pretty popular. Lots of people have these. They're really bright and shiny. Um, of course, under the blue, and then we have it under the white, and it's still nice and bright and shiny under the white. Uh, then we have these uh, teal with green center candy canes, of course, under the blue, and under the white. Next up, we have a green with purple tip hammer. Uh, this is a pretty common hammer that most people have. That's, of course, under the blue. And here we are under the white. After that, we have some Fruit Loop Zuas. Of course, under the blue, nice and shiny. Uh, not too bad under the white. Uh, this is still blue. Um, just another angle. Again, not too bad under the white, but uh, definitely not the same glow. Next, we have this green with purple tip frog spawn and of course under the blue and under the white we have a green pasillopora next and here it is under the blue you can of course see a couple different shades of green in there and under the white you can still see some variation this is another blue pick but under the right here you can still see some variation but it just doesn't shine like it should and then we have our green tip hammer under the blue, and here we go under the white. We have our red Yuma mushroom, and here it is under the blue. I've got a second pick here under the blue, a little closer up to see kind of the definitions of color. And then here we go under the white. So definitely doesn't quite have the same definitions of color. And got a close-up one under the white as well. Again, just not the same definitions of color. We have a jawbreaker mushroom here. I've got three different ones. So here's the smaller one under the blue and white. Here's the medium one under blue. And under white. And then we'll have the large one here. And this one is under blue. And then we have it under white as well. And I will notice, note that all these things open up much bigger under the white than they do under the blue. And we have our green cabbage coral here. Uh, so there it is under the blue. And again under the blue. And then here we go under the white. And one more view under the white on this one. So then we have our uh, green candy cane torch. So you can kind of see what this guy looks like here under the blue. 
and again under the white, just faded out kind of under, under the white there. So we have a metallic green carpet anemone, again under the blue. And then we have it under the white here, and it's kind of kind of looks almost bleached out. Um, it was a little bleached out when I got it. We're getting color back, but again, big big difference. We got some regular blue discoma mushrooms here under blue, and then we got our blue discoma here under white. I actually think they look better under the white, but personal opinion. I got some purple with white stripe under the blue and some purple with white stripe uh, right there under blue. And then again, under white. We've also got some green discoma mushrooms. You can see there's a little bit of variation of color to them, but you know, it's just standard greens under the blue, under the white. We got some Captain Jerk Pallies under the blue here. A second close up under the blue and then we got them under our white here and they pretty much just kind of look brown we got some neon green pallies um, here so of course under the blue and then here we go under the white we've got a blue with blue teal candy cane coral uh, this is a different one I got two different Two different ones of these i got it on two different trades so i just have two different ones eventually i'll get rid of one of them but uh there's another version of it all right so then we have this little frag this little frag of an orange encruster here um under the blue and under the daylight we have green star polyp under the blue and then we'll have it under the daylight doesn't look a ton different under either or and then we have this pink frog spawn doesn't look pink in any of the pictures but it does look pink to the eye when you're looking at it in the tank um, definitely under the blue under the white it is just kind of washed out and gives you that brownish look um, so stay with me we're gonna follow this through we're gonna see what kind of growth we get see how this light does um, hope you like this video give me a like give me a subscribe check out some more of my content and i'll get more out soon thanks guys